Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yun Jung Min. Extreme weather conditions affected the country today with rather early heat summer wave. Heat has caused more than 200 people being sent to emergency rooms in recent weeks. Monsoon rain is set to follow tomorrow. Our Boon Hyun leads our coverage tonight. South Korea began the new week with the hottest day of the year so far. Temperatures soared to 33 to 35 degrees Celsius on Monday, with the capital recording over 35 degrees in some areas around midday. The Korea Meteorological Administration issued a heat wave warning for six different regions, from Gyeonggi-do province in the north to Gyeongsang-do provinces in the south. A heat wave advisory was issued in Seoul along with all major cities. The second time an advisory has been issued for the capital this year. A heat wave warning is issued when feels like temperatures hit 35 degrees or higher, while an advisory is issued at 33 degrees. A spokesperson at the KMA remarked that an early heat wave is something that has been observed fairly frequently in the past few years. When the weather meets certain wind conditions, there are times when the temperature rises a lot even in July, so a heat wave warning is issued from time to time. According to the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency, between May and last Saturday, the heat wave has led to 245 people being admitted to emergency rooms. Livestock are also suffering. Nearly 3,000 chickens died at a farm in Gyeonggi-do province. Coupled with the heavy rain which claimed the lives of two people last week, the entire nation is suffering from extreme weather conditions. Heavy rain is due to hit the country on Tuesday, with western regions predicted to be the most heavily affected. The blanket of rain will be covering Jeju and Jeollanam-do province first, before moving on to the western regions of Jeollabuk-do province, the Chungcheong-do provinces and Seoul. More than 50 millimeters is expected for these regions, with some areas forecasted to have more than 150. Data from the KMA shows that an average of 163.9 millimeters was recorded last week across the country. This is more than 2.4 times the usual amount recorded during this period in other years. While the rain is expected to offer a brief respite from the heat, the weather agency advises people to take shelter and be careful using transport because of the heavy rain and fog-reducing visibility. Moon Haryeon, Arirang News.